Okay, let's finish that level. It shouldn't take more than one or two minutes if everything goes well. You know, I was thinking about it and you know, the music you're hearing, well, it's actually completely different than, uh, well, than the, the track that was played, you know? You know, back in the day when the, the sound in, in, in the computers came out from the box of the computer? Well, in, in those days, the music of some levels, including this one, uh, were completely different. Others I can think of that for which that's the case right off the top of my head would be levels 15 and 21, not the same tracks at all. Okay, there are still a few enemies left, e even though I've been here before, if you remember in the last video, I came here but I didn't have the key. And here we go, level 28 down, level 29, the labyrinth. And yeah, as you can imagine, it's going to be pretty hard since it's the second to last level of the game. Okay, now you, I guess you imagine, no! Nope. I already got out of that room. Basically, the idea of that room was to get out uh, of the room. There was one ward that got you out of the room, and the, the other three led to each other. So you saw the, the golden locked door earlier, and right behind that locked door is the exit. So right now, I'm just going to head to, uh, to a corner and see what I can get for it. Specifically, I'm going to go for the northeastern corner since I think that is where... Uh, I, it, it's gonna put me pretty close to the key if memory serves me correctly. But yeah, now this level, it's nothing but a huge maze full of blue bricks. So, when I was saying in the last video's video commentary, See you in Blue Brick Hell? Well, this is Blue Brick Hell. And, yeah, the level's called The Labyrinth. Ken Silverman must have been running out of ideas at that point in the game. Thank God the game's almost over. I would have called it Rat in a Maze, because that's exactly what you feel like in this level. A freaking rat in a maze! The layout of this level? Well, imagine a maze coming out of a random maze generator you can find on the internet. Now, take away the imagined part. That's level 29. Okay, now I gotta be pretty close. I think I've, I've gotten actually to the corner. Not, I'm not completely sure, but um, yeah, I think it looked sort of like that. Okay, now, yeah, according to the map, I'm in the corner, all right. So, no, the key's not there, but I, it's gotta be close by. I remember it being close to the northeastern corner. So, where is it? Now, okay, I honestly have no idea where I'm going. I just have, I'm just gonna go west. Since, you know, that that part, uh, the, the warp dropped me in at the beginning of the level, that, that was a fairly big central area, and the rest of the level kind, kind of makes a circle around it. Well, it's more like a bigger square around uh, a smaller square, but let's not nitpick, okay? Even though nitpicking is sort of my specialty. Oh, and gotta love those moving holes peppered all over the place. I just can't wait to run around a corner. Oh, here's the key! Now all I gotta do is find my way back, and I think I'm, I gotta go due south now. But yeah, I can't wait to run around a corner and then, ah, before I even notice what happened. And if I took that corner on the inside, that's exactly what would have happened. So I know I gotta go south, but I can't find any passage that leads south. I, I know I gotta go south because I came out uh, into the southern part of the level when I came out of that opening area where the where the locked door was, and yeah, I'm going, I'm I'm going in laughs, I imagine, because I'm seeing that key stand quite a lot, and you know, one's enough. Damn. Okay, I think I think I'm making some headway now. Am I? Looks like it, but. Uh, is there anything there? Nope. Looks like a dead end. A dead end guarded by a moving hole. Yeah. W way to guard your valuables. Like there, there were all those power ups on level 27 that you that Ken could have assigned his moving holes to, but no, he decided to guard to have them guard dead ends in level 29. 
Wonderful! That is just so great for an evil alien overlord. Oh, and he's not just evil, he's ugly too. If you paid attention to the story bits I've been showing you uh, all throughout this LP, you know that he's not just infinitely evil, he's also infinitely ugly. So, yeah, I imagine I made quite a ways south now, if I can just find a, a clue to help me. Okay, so I guess I'm go I'm I've gone too far south now, so where I guess I gotta head back and Wait a minute, that was a map! I can use that to find my way back! Okay, so once I'm out of that passageway, the exit is due north. Wow, I almost made a complete ass of myself. There was this map right there and I almost didn't use it. Okay, you you move first, you move first, because I don't want to fall down uh, you, that doesn't sound quite good, but here we go, level 30, this is it, the boss gauntlet, and in this room, look at that, there's a soda machine, a soda machine to prepare you for a boss gauntlet. Now I'm buying like 20 of each, except for blue cloaks, I don't need blue cloaks. But yeah, soda machine on the level where you're facing three bosses in a row, well that is some great balance right there. I mean, if you've been collecting coins anywhere near diligently, you're gonna have too many to know what to do with them, so this level becomes just another buy, like levels 27 and 28. Now I could have finished this game with 999 coins just like I maxed out everything else including extra lives. Oh god, I remember this room. It's really annoying especially since I didn't buy those uh, those blue cloaks to run into the holes while they were moving. That kills them by the way. It oh damn. That is Oh no 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 not again. You're not going to get me twice. Oh no. Okay. Now, oh yeah, close encounter of the third kind. It's so fun to hear their own missiles pound them. Oh, and there are a few more upgrades. Like, like I needed them. I just bought myself like 20 of each. And here's another soda machine. There are two soda machines on the last level where you're really likely to have maxed out your coins. Okay, I think this is the room where Zorko is. Oh yeah, that's right. He's immune to missiles, so I'm gonna get the bouncer for this one. This is what the bouncer looks like, by the way. You haven't seen it since uh, the beginning of the game, since I haven't used it at all, but now you just saw what it looks like and um, okay this area I think is gonna be handy since it can't be canned just quite yet here we go that feeling of invincibility is just awesome I might say yeah I know he deflects missiles I'm just gonna get back to the bouncers and yeah you deflect them back at me but guess what I've got Gray cloaks, purple potions, green potions, I got everything and you got nothing! Except a key apparently. Okay, and that was actually quite funny, the fake door and all. So all I gotta do now is head straight back to the beginning of the level because uh, Ken's abode was just behind my starting point actually. No, 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 you're not dragging me in this time. Come on, just move over please. Let's go! It's the final showdown! Come on, where's that wussy overlord? Oh, there he is! The infinitely evil and ugly Ken! Yeah, so this guy here can become like half invisible and uh, become invulnerable and he can also teleport around. And I, I can deflect his bullets and he's dead just like that! So where do I use that key? Where do I use it? Oh, one last secret passage for the road, and this is a mandatory one, and there we go, this game is over! Oh, I'm in control this time, so game over! I won! And that's another LP for the books, make sure to keep an eye out for the remainder of my Pokemon Red LP, I'm about to fight the last gym leader. And if you like that game enough to play it, you can always download it from Ken Silverman's site. I'm going to put up a link in the movie description. Okay, see ya!